I'm Johnny from Mexico Boxing. Right now I'm going to talk to you guys about how to fight out of a crouch. So uh, this is a request somebody asked me. Somebody asked me, hey Johnny, how do you fight out of, out of a crouching position? I'm not really sure what he means by that. I don't know if he means to just drop the knees, or to be bent more, or to be smaller or lower or what. But uh, I'll, I'll give you my two cents on it. So the first thing I want to say is I'm not really sure why anybody would really want to do that. And the reason why is because, look, when we're waiting for the bus stop, right? At the bus stop, you're waiting. When we stand in line at the grocery store, we typically stand a little straight up. It's like this, because it's easier on our knees, it's easier on our muscles. We use the bones to carry our body, right? So this is very energy efficient. I'm here, and then I'm here, right? So it's very efficient to stay up nice and high. The moment we crouch, okay, you can all, everybody can try this with me. The moment we crouch, we start to load weight into our muscles. It's now our muscles carrying the weight, not the bones. So when you do this, it's very tiring. And then now it's also, you know, I, for me, you're kind of slower to move around because you have to pop up to go anywhere, right? We, we can't move like this. From up here, I can just shuffle away, right? When I'm, when I'm nice and hot, I can just I pick up and go. But from here, I have to push and then I can go. So why would I want to do this? I don't think, you know, a lot of people watch, I guess, some flashy videos or something. It looks very flashy. You see a guy like this. So I can tell you, uh, first thing off the bat, the crouching that you see, yes, there's some moments where they might actually go, you know, all the way down like that. But for the most part, their crouching is very subtle. So from here is maybe straight up. That's it. That's a crouch. You see how much... How, how crouched I looked up already, I look like I lowered a lot, but really it, it's just like two, three inches. I don't actually go here. This is too much, it's on the back. It, it, you can't even see your point, you can't even punch up there. So, you know, why would you want that, right? If you want to be defensive, you can be defensive in here, okay? I, I kind of I bend up the back a little bit, but I don't try to crouch into my legs, okay? If I get low on, uh, if I put my weight over the front of my foot, the ball of the foot, and I try to get low, you'll feel that it loads my quads. It loads my quads, it loads my calves, so I can spring up and, and explode out of the position. But this is very tiring. The other way is I can put the weight down on my heel, and then now I'm just like in a lazy position. And, you, and it still works the muscles, but you're kind of like in a different position and you don't feel as explosive. So it's really hard to crouch. If you want to get low, like I said, two, three inches is all you need. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to widen your stance a little bit, okay? How wide? Look, I'm going to show you. I never go something like this. This is just, you're stuck in the mud. It's so hard to move. I'm like here, and then maybe, boom, that looks, that looks low enough, right? Low enough to dig, okay? Uh, if you want to, if you're trying to go under punches or something, I recommend that you stay up high. Up high, boom, and there. Boom, and there. That's it. And then immediately come in. So, you know, you can use a crouch as a transition position or something like that, but to fight out of here, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, you, you can't punch up, right? You can't even see. It's kind of weird to see. You, you, you know, from up here, I can see everything comfortably. My legs are relaxed. I am relaxed. And here, it's like a lot of strain to work, right? I think everything you do, it's kind of obvious. So if I want to, let's say I want to hit him with a big hook, it's kind of obvious from here. Or a big right hand, I feel like it's obvious. From up here, I can just stay here, I'm calm, I'm relaxed, boom. Right, calm, I'm relaxed, boom. From here, it's, you, you see, you, you can see the, the motion of me exploding up. It, it's, it telegraphs, it makes it a little too easy to see. So, um, you know, use it as a transition position. Um, it, moments here and there, okay, you can dip a little lower, but really, you know, wide up your stance, relax your knees, dip a little bit, and just have like more of a smaller vibe, right? You can do that. You can have more of a smaller vibe. You don't actually need to go all the way down here. I'm John from Expert Boxing. If you like these boxing tips, if you'd like to see more, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, expertboxing.com. Thanks for watching.